This is the sixth video in the series of how to use the Atlas of Genetic Ancestry. Uh, now we're going to be going to the haplogroup map visualizations. This is a very interesting group of visualizations. Uh, and uh, the first in the list is the haplogroup majorities by country. Uh, what that shows us is a series of maps that are uh, color-coded according to the uh, largest uh, haplogroup in the country. Uh, so, uh, for this first map, uh, which is uh, accompanied by the uh, table below, uh, what we're seeing here is the countries that uh, share the same majority haplogroup, coded by color. All colors, uh, all countries having the same color are going to uh, be in the same major majority. So, if we take a look at the uh, the table underneath, that'll show us the major haplogroups um, that are represented in the map. And one can see that uh, these uh, color codings are accompanied by a numerical coding, uh, which has no value whatsoever. It's just a categorization. And you'll see that all the purple countries here are, in the the, uh, are associated with the number 140. Uh, that's just so that the map will work. And uh, one can see that uh, in the area below, the uh, major haplogroups area, uh, the uh, the nations that are uh, that have the 140 coding are all in the R uh, category. So these are all uh, the top uh, haplogroup in each of these countries uh, in terms of the numerical uh, percentage of uh, residents of that country who belong to the haplogroup um, is shown here. Uh, and all the countries that share the same color, let's go back up here to the map and see that uh, this uh, kind of greenish color is a 30. Uh, find any 30 on the table and you'll see that that uh, uh, correlates to the, uh, the E uh, major haplogroup. So all those uh, countries uh, have population where the majority of people within the country belong to the E half a group. Now that could be just 51 percent or it could be 99 percent. At this point we just uh, we're just comparing the majorities uh, within each country and we're also uh, only using the major haplogroups. We haven't subdivided these at all uh, which is what happens in the next uh, map on this page. I've scrolled down to the next map on the page, and here what we have is the uh, certain of uh, the largest haplogroups, uh, for instance, the R and the E, um, are subdivided uh, so that uh, now we have uh, R1A being one of the divisions and R1B being the other. So you will see now that what used to be uh, purple uh, all across the globe here is now blue, uh, representing the R1B subdivision, and uh, red representing the R1A subdivision. This is all explained in the table below, which shows the coding number and the uh, accompanying uh, sub haplogroup. Uh, this also works for the E haplogroup, which uh, used to encompass almost the entire continent of Africa. Now you, you are seeing that uh, uh, certain countries are in the E1, B1, B1B category, while others are the in the E1. B1A1, and uh, uh, yet others are in uh, other uh, subdivisions of E. Um, now those are the major uh, data points that one can find on this web. And now we'll look at some of the other uh, haplogroup uh, uh, data that are presented in some of the other visualizations.